Good morning, everybody. Do you hear that? The birds twerping. Beautiful bird. Okay, just want to show you the loofah is starting the um cling on to the gate. Wanna climb. Can't wait to this fill out so people can get the harvest in and um really really nice. The beans are doing really good. Right here they're starting to put on flowers. Can't wait to get beans here. This here is my camelope. And look, y'all, it's put on the male flower. Also, it's on the climb. Right here, I get to skate a little bit more uh, compost and I give a little fish emotion, but it's still climbing beautifully and it's putting on cucumbers look y'all mm -hmm. so I gotta guide it back up the trellis this fence like this piece right here so here's my other one okay here's go my dragon fruit cactus it's doing well if you see here, it's sitting out the tentacles and it's climbing onto this tree. Now, I don't know too much about dragon fruit cactus. But we'll see. This is a beautiful addition to my garden. Right here is American Beauty. I guess the birds drop the seed and I have this beautiful plant. Here go my thorn, it's blackberry. And this right now you see it's loaded with blackberries. A fig. It's beautiful and this is from a cutting. Look how pretty it is. I got one fig off this plant and it was so good. Here is my scrap pile, my milkweed. But notice this morning, huge carrots. Oh, don't. Let's see something. Look at this. Carrots up in here. <laughs> that little compost. My phone ringing. Hello? Hello, how you doing? Phone call for my son teacher, y'all. Sorry about that, but you know, I had to take that call right quick. So, um, my artichoke's doing really good. And I gotta, once again, then I'm out. <laughs> but I planted some tomatoes here. Some monster boards, the big monsters. Um, I did some beef boards and early girls and right here I did some peppers and also I planted some purple basil here slowly but surely I gotta finish putting soil on the end and add the rest of my tomatoes I get to it sometime <laughs> I have a cooking demo I have to do for the special needs adults tomorrow so I'm trying to figure out an easy, quick, delicious recipe for them and for their parents to follow along with me. I'm so excited to do this video. Artichokes. I got a person that want a piece, so I'll be digging this up, cutting it back, and putting it in a pot for them. I'm going to clean up my tomato with a little blight at it. And I'm going to make some um, little solution to clean it up so they don't spray it. 
for right now. Look at it. Oh, the tomatoes are so gorgeous. Look at there. I guess some is trying to turn red. I'm going to put up in here okra. Because I didn't do okra. So when I do the tomatoes, potatoes, I'm sorry, potatoes, I'm going to come in here with okra. So this bed will be full of okra. I'm going to pull the broccoli out up under here. But it's kind of helping. It's eating that and not messing with my beans. So win win. So right now my beans are looking nice and it's gotta build another trellis for it because it's getting thick and heavy. Gotta come home with these beans today. And just looking beautiful. Beautiful y'all. Just love my garden. I have a cotto plant. Also liking it here and getting bigger. Here's my pollinating garden to come in and help with some of these squash you can pollinate in and help feed them. I also planted a squash plant down up in here with it. And these beautiful this is sage right here. It's beautiful sage. Sunflowers. Just beautiful flowers. Here I planted some corn for the girls. And mama didn't say, Mama, we just get a few ears of corn to eat at the table, we'll be happy. So, plant out some corn. I started some more. I've been killed every day for breakfast with my eggs and basil. So, hopefully, I'll be cleaning this bed out and um, planting more tomatoes here. I'm finna build another bed because I want more carrots because I'm gonna do some uh, carrot souffle and stew with carrots in it, caramelized carrots, a lot of different ways to do carrots. It's growing really nicely. So this is the big leaf basil I got from Baker Creek Seed. And I'm gonna have to thin them out. So I'll be doing it today, thinning those out. Here's my other squash, acorn squash, I think. Look at this fennel. Go fennel. I do not like fennel, but ooh, I'm gonna ask who want it. They can have it. I just love growing stuff, and, and different people like different things. I try the fennel. Somebody can give me an idea how to use this fennel. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what I can do with this fennel. I'm not a fennel person. I'm not a licorice person. I also plant a little corn. My, my daughter planted a little corn up in here. So it's growing. And my um, crazy looking bell peppers is growing. My lemongrass is coming back. These sunflowers are getting big and beautiful. I'm filling this side on in. I gotta tie this up to the little stakes with these tomatoes. Beautiful flower. Look at this sunflower. Beautiful, y'all. Look at that. Exturgence. Beautiful, right? You gotta get the work over here. Get all this space you see here filled in with food. Peaches. Look at that. Down here is my cucumbers. So if you see, pickling cucumbers is loaded with it. Then I have a couple of radish. I have to harvest soon. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, and look at it. Listen to that bird. Listen to the bird. An apple. I have two apples on here. My little girl keep eating them before they get big enough. She likes a little tart. 
and it's loaded with great flowers and they're starting to open up to get pollinated that's a self-pollinated plant this is my mustard iron. and i love it right here when it's really hot i just can get out the sun uh oh trying to clear him a little bit i can get out the sun and just whew, it's feeling really nice up under here On this side, I have my beans coming. It's climbing up here. But also, I have my um, pet food vine that came back. You see here. Oh, I gotta build another trellis here because it's gonna be so heavy, it's gonna fall in. So, that's another project to get done. Oh, you hear that bird, y'all? My mild lemons getting tall and beautiful. I'm about to cut it back eventually. So we're supposed to weed around the beds today and clean up the weeds off the fence. Oh, that beautiful woodpecker. I wish I could get this. They'll probably fly if I get there. It's black and it's beautiful. Pick it on the wood. It's a baby. So I can catch it on there. Right there. See it? It's picking on that wood. <laughs> so, in my little bird feeder right here, I'm going to repaint it. I put bird seeds here. And I got to clean this out. I put a little bleach water in there. Clean it out. I got water here for the birds. They actually come down here and drink the water. But I get to that and clean it out and put in like a little shaded area. Oh my goodness, y'all. It just sitting here picking. It ain't flying off of nothing. You see it? <laughs> I have all species of birds coming back here. This is my relaxing place for me to get my thoughts together, to start on my cookbook, my next one, make it more better, make it more prettier, make it more, recipes a little easier. Oh, the red bird. Oh, look at the blue bird. When I say birds out here, they're out here. Oh yeah, I have so many plants I wanna to talk to you all about, but my data won't let me take it too far. So I just want to give you a quick look how everything is coming along in this backyard and the stuff on the fence line is doing really good. I'm excited y'all. Love my garden. Every year it amazes me. From my yard to yours, I'm Pat Smith. Bye. And please y'all, subscribe and hit the like and share.